And fans, welcome back to this main event. Main event. Why am I talking about it's the United States? I apologize. I got. I saw. I got distracted. Wait a minute, there. Keith. K. I. I apologize. Why did I say main event? I have no idea, but uh, well, it's out of the ashes, all the matches could be considered main events here tonight. I guess you could say. Yeah, maybe I was just thinking about the main event, the unification of the the world titles. Maybe that was it. I saw this moments ago there with the Keith KO by Keith Kazarian. There's Kevin Fake with a float over pen and no Keith Kazarian breaks out. I apologize for such a amateurish mistake there. I, I don't know what what happened there. All right now Kazarian, he's in a world of trouble here, and Fair Kane trying to capitalize and capture the OFW United States Championship. And we know how Kazarian he likes to use cheap tactics to hold on to that title. We saw it earlier in the match where he tried to leave the match and uh, Fair King's, you know, holding his own here. If he can just keep Kazarian in the ring, I think Fair King could win the belt here tonight. Indeed, Fair King uh, got his number one contendership from beating Lucas Hart. And, uh, you know, Kazarian, as we said, he likes to cheat in his United States Championship opportunities and it won't surprise me if he tries to hit in this matchup. I mean, but as we're saying, it, uh, Kevin Fake is holding up his own here. Look at this here with the big gut buster. And now it looks like this match is all Fair Kane. Definitely. I mean, he's done it all. He's kept Kevin, uh, excuse me, he's kept Keith Kazarian in the ring. And that's where he needs to keep him. Uh, Kazarian gets outside the ring, that's where he becomes dangerous, and that's where he can start all this cheating. And Fair Kane is doing what he needs to do to become the next U.S. champion right here tonight. Indeed, and there's a rake to the eyes there by Keith Kazarian. Wait a minute, Fair Kane. Fair Kane, women needs a stomach. I think he's staying up for the straight jacket here. Wait a minute, now look at this here. Look at this straight jacket. Slam straight down to the mat. Oh my god, that, that could very well do it. Here's the cover. Is it going to be it? Yes, it is. This match is over. Let me and now we have a new OFW United States Champion in either Kevin Fairkane or Keith Fairkane. Kevin Fairkane. God, you know, I, I mean, it's can't be Keith Fairkane because it's Keith Kazarian that he beat it from. God, get it right. Oh, well. At least I know it wasn't the main event. Shut up. <laughs> There you have it, the OFW United States Champion. Man, this next match is going to be Slaughter Knocker AD. Yeah, this is a match that OFW, RCW, HCW fans over the past two years have been dying to see. Osiris, Lord of Darkness, former two-time World Heavyweight Champion, former two-time Tag Team Champion, fixing to do battle with OFW's Haunt. I'm telling you, this match is going to be hell if I've ever seen it. And uh, what are your thoughts on this one, Daniel? This match is a match made in hell. It is just a um, perfect match, you could say, between these two, Osiris and Adam. I think a lot of people have been wanting to uh, see this, and now they finally get this opportunity to see it. I think this is fine. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm definitely one of the ones that have been wanting to see it for a while. And, uh, you know, I think when you look at both of these guys, they both bring a lot to the table. I mean, they're both fierce competitors. They're fearless. They're demonic. They're demented, twisted minds. And, I mean, I just don't see either one of them being able to get a clear upper advantage here. I just can't call a, a victor out of this matchup because... I mean, Adam, you know, he brings to the table all this weird, freaky, twisted mind games as we see right here. I mean, new attire, he's got all the druids out here with him. He's got his freaky clown mace makeup on, you know, the, the whole colonel of the dam supports him, you know, 100%. And then you've got Osiris, you know, just the, the presence of him, you know, the Lord of Darkness, that just hideously looking mask that he wears. This the Carnival of the Damned versus Eternal Damnation. I mean, I tell you, I it, it's either way you look at it, somebody is going to be damned here tonight. Indeed, it is. Whoever it is, God help the bus. Saying you sent all about Adam's new attire. Look at that, swimming in, looking you could say into the face of evil. 
Adam, former hardcore champion, former tag team champion, never been a world champion, and it's uh, something that he's always wanted. But I'm just going to put this idea out to you: or could you picture like Adam as a world champion? How how crazy strange it would be? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, it's just you know that thought is uh, it's out there. I mean, it could very well happen. I mean, Adam's not a pushover. I mean, he has fought some of the best competitors that Ace or HCW, OFW, RCW has ever had to offer. And I mean, we're going into this new season of OFW, and these two monsters right now they're wanting to try to prove themselves that they're better than the other. And here we go right now. They're both exchanging punches, trying to get the upper advantage. Indeed, I mean, Osiris has got the height advantage over Adam, but of course we can't count Adam out because he has got strength. We've seen him the reverse, and as I say that, look at that, a humongous clothesline dropping Osiris. Yeah, that's, a, that's what Adam wait, needs to do. Wait, wait a minute. What the hell? The lights have gone out in wait, the arena. Wait, wait a minute, what the hell? Look at this! Yeah, that's one of Adam's droids, isn't it? He's, what, what is going on here? It's one of the finals. Where is Osiris? What the hell's going on? That is one of the druids, one of the followers of the Carnival of the Damned, yes. And and he's beating down on Adam and Osiris has gone missing. What the hell is going on? I don't know. I mean, this makes no sense to me. I mean, it's like, you know, Adam was in control of the match. You know, he hits Osiris with that clothesline in the corner and then lights go out. Osiris is gone and, and now all of a sudden this, this druid's in there beating up on Adam and look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And Wait Adam, a minute now. Adam, man, look at, oh my, oh my god, look at this. I think he's setting him up and going to send him down to the carnival of the damn. Yes, he is. Oh my god. Adam, not playing any games here tonight, that's for sure. Wait, wait a minute. The Lights the are out again wait, now. Wait a minute, look at this. Oh my god. Eternal damnation by Osiris and Adam back to his seat again, the, though. But the flames are out the ring. It, where? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say here, Daniel. I am totally confused. I've seen nothing like this in, every, in all matches I have ever called. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, is Osiris just the, the master manipulator here tonight? I mean, he has really just brought it to Adam. I mean, can Osiris be behind all this? It seems that way. I mean, I mean he's popped back up. Out, out, out these lights going out. A druid appeared. Now Osiris back to flames. I think Adam is being outmatched on the mind games. Could very well be, and we all know that Osiris is the king of the Inferno matches. And this match is not built as an Inferno match, but here we go now. Osiris setting up for a second Eternal Damnation. Oh my God, just it's just unbelievable. Who's meant to be seeing such a great match? Oh, this is how Darks' music is playing now, and I mean, I, I don't think there was a clear victory here. I think this match has just been thrown out. Indeed, it has. Well, we can say that Adam has just been out done on mind games.